Hi there, it's Zip from Elementor. Today, I'll show you how to use the Progress Tracker widget. Use it to encourage your visitors to follow through to the end by indicating how much content is left to read. The Progress Tracker is fully customizable and can also help reduce page bounce rates. Let's check it out. For the first example, we will add a horizontal progress tracker to this page. Simply search for it and drag it to where you like. I'll go ahead and drag it into this inner section over here at the bottom of the page. I placed it here because I want the progress tracker to be sticky at the bottom of the viewport when visitors scroll. In order to do that, go to the inner section settings and in the advanced tab, under motion effects, set sticky to bottom. Let's preview to see the result. Cool. Back in the progress tracker widget, you can choose the tracker type. By default, it's set to horizontal. You can also choose to display a circle. I'm going with horizontal for this example. Next, in progress relative to, you can determine the progress tracker's starting point either relative to the entire page, post content, or a selector. I will set it to the entire page. Soon, I will demonstrate the other options as well as the circle type on a single post template. In direction, you can choose whether the bar fills from left to right, or vice versa. You can also show a percentage if you like. By default, it's set to appear on the right. Set it to left if it better suits your design. All right, let's move on to the styling options. There are many settings for you to really customize this widget. For example, in the tracker dropdown, you can set the progress indicator color, which is the color your tracker will fill up with. In tracker background, you can give it a color as well. I will set it to be transparent for this design. You can give it a specific height and add a border. In the content dropdown, you can style the percentage text if you've chosen to display it. Okay, so now that we know the options, let's check out this next design. It is a single post template with dynamically populated posts via the post content widget. I will add a progress tracker next to it so viewers know how far down the post they are. For this design, I'll set the type to circular. And because we want the progress tracker to indicate how much of the post is read, I'll set it to be relative to the post content. Here too, you can set the direction in which the progress fills up and display the percentage if you like. In order to make it sticky and stay next to the post content, go to the widgets advanced tab and in motion effects, set sticky to top. I'll also give it an offset and enable stay in column. I'll do the same for the heading above it. Let's check it out. Great, it follows along and indicates how much of the post content I've read. All right, time to style this progress tracker too. I'll set the tracker size and give the indicator a color. I'll also increase its width a bit. Next, I'll set the tracker background color and play around with the width so it matches the indicator. Perfect. In the content dropdown, I'll style the percentage as well, give it a color 
and change the typography a bit so it stands out. Let's see it again. Great. Now, for the last example, I'll use the same progress tracker on another page with long content. Simply copy it, never get to the page, and paste it. On this page, I'll set the progress tracker to be relative to selector. This option enables you to track the progress of a specific element on the page. In my case, I want the tracker to indicate how much of the article text in this column is read. First, to make it work, you need to add a CSS ID or class to this column. You can do that in the Advanced tab. As you can see, I've added a CSS class over here. You can type anything you like. Just make sure it's descriptive and that it doesn't contain any spaces. Next, I'll go ahead and copy this class. And back in the Progress Tracker widget, I'll paste it in the Selector field. Pay attention to make sure you add a dot before it. If you are new to using CSS in Elementor, check out the tutorial I left in the description. It's easy to follow along and explains the basics to get started. Alright, time to see it in action. Works like a charm. Last but not least, let's check out the responsive mode. Just like any other widget, settings with device icons can be tweaked for various screen sizes. I'll go ahead and decrease the size a bit so it fits in nicely. In the content dropdown, I'll adjust the text size too. Just a little bit. Great. These small adjustments really make a world of difference. Well, that's it. Now you know how to use the progress tracker widget on all types of pages to encourage your visitors to follow through to the end. Style it to fit your design and see it reduce page bounce rates. As always, have fun creating and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials. Ciao for now.